<laughs> what Trey songs be doing? So you don't. What did he be doing? I don't, I don't remember because I just I don't remember. Thank you so. Now nah, you don't remember. Nah, she no. don't remember. Nah, be you see, just say it. Say it again. <laughs> say it again. He exposing herself. She don't want to say it again. <laughs> Dips drink. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Episode thirty six. What's good? What's uh, good? ITC podcast. Uh, we got the crew here plus Bishop. That's Not right, Bishop. Not That's right, Bishop. That's what his oh, name no. say on the uh, on the. That's Zoom. right, <laughs> Bishop. Hines but everybody, Bishop. everybody know me as Devin, so it's the boy Devin, aka Bishop, and little man. We got another special guest again. And the hey, there he is. Week two. Mm-hmm. Week two in the pod. Yeah. So, uh, Devin, what's been up, man? How you been, man? We ain't seen you in a while on here, man. Man, life. Oh, actually, I think right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's my first podcast since the old place. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. So it's been a yeah. minute. It's really, been- just work. Yeah. Just work. Uh, man, I, I've been sick, but thankfully I got tested today. Mm-hmm. Came back negative. That's good. So that's after good. this podcast, going to the strip, I can't do that. But I'm just, <laughs> I'm just I can't do that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just thankful, man. That's that how you catch it. Negative. That's how you catch it for real. <laughs> <laughs> strip, I'm just going. I just want. I'm just going for the wings, the lemon pepper lose. That's all. Uh, the wings. That's, you that's how name. it starts. That's how it starts. You go mm. for the wings, and you end up the bishop barbecue. No, uh, the, the dollars and bishop. No money. <laughs> the barbecue bishops. I don't know, bro. I never. I've never. Bishop uh, be tricking. Mm. Bishop. That's, that's, that don't sound right. That's toxic as hell. <laughs> that don't very even sound toxic. Right. That don't sound right at all. I've never eaten at a uh, strip club. Never. Me I heard their wings is good, depending on where you go. But I've never eaten at a strip club, so. Oh, for real? I don't know. So, nobody else. Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh, it's it's good. just you know. I mean, you're usually not going there for the food. You're going there for the. You know, Tell some thing. niggas that. <laughs> but some niggas actually do go there for the food. I I just, just like, you know. Niggas like I'm trying to eat. Yeah. Really, dog. That's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> but you that's know, what I'm saying you can't and eat, and you can you know, get a show to get in just to you eat. know what I'm saying. You get a show. You can eat, get a show, you know what I'm saying? And enjoy yourself. Live the, the finer things of life, you know? I'm trying food to see and, how, how, how fast I can steal my money back when I throw it. That's It's a game nah, to me. Bro. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. For all the money you got, see how much you can get back. That's a dope nah. game. It's not a dope game. It it's not a dope game. Is it trifling? No, no. <laughs> it's not really That's, trifling. Not. That's a dope <laughs> game. Hey, look. I actually okay. did that before. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. You throw it, and you know it's, it's thankful that God blessed me with you know large feet. You can just step on a few dollars and slide it back without anybody noticing. <laughs> oh my God, dog. he brought the Lord up. Yeah, that's no oh, light about to start twinkling over there, bro. Oh my, <laughs> but it just God. did. Twinkle of an eye. Oh my and God, there, and there was Bishop, ladies and gentlemen. His first and last episode <laughs> <laughs> in a he long time. <laughs> But nah, man. Uh, yeah, we um apparently the surge in the uh COVID is going back up. Um, oh, for real? Yeah, it seemed like it's it's getting worse than it was the first time. Apparently, from what reports say, it looks like it's spiking uh pretty fast again. Um, so what do y'all think about that, man? Is it time to get locked down again before it gets crazy, or do y'all think we shouldn't just worry about it? We should just at this living. point, man. <laughs> I'm going to Cancun in December, so. Hey, you said what? I'm going to Mexico in December, so. So that mean y'all don't really care? It means I'm, I'm going to wear my mask and do my due diligence as a civilian. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Please don't fly spirit, Alicia. I know oh, you like flying spirit. Thank you. Thank God. No, Please. You're going to turn into no, one. Nah. <laughs> you you the like, reason why, you like the only spirit. The reason why I say that because nah, I've been hello, seeing some finish. videos. What you I've about to say? videos. Where said, niggas, niggas is, background, huh? Yeah, I'm recording. But yeah, I've been seeing videos. Yes, I'm recording. She fly spirit. <clears throat> bills. God wow. Bills. This nigga got a bill live <laughs> on on the pod. Bro. Oh my god. Is that a pass bro. due? Is that a pass due bill? Man, she looked at you and said, "She said, make it enough." <laughs> you better make it enough. 
The only reason why I say that because I saw a video recently where uh -oh. the nigga that somebody was flying on Spirit and a the nigga they were recording it. And I was like, "Yo, bro, somebody got on the air on the little intercom. I was like, yo, we kind of overshot the the uh, the landing here, so we're about to make an emergency landing in the water. <laughs> so all you see is niggas just you can just see niggas panicking and shit, mm -hmm. and then the niggas hit the water. Luckily, I think everyone survived, but you know that's. That's a lawsuit coming. Man, so that was confirmed no. Spirit Airlines. Mm-hmm. That was Spirit, bro. Yeah, that's that's Malisha. That's Malisha. Go that's why I said I'm glad that you're not no, flying Spirit. I'll, I'll, I'll fly Spirit, and if, and if I become a Spirit, then you know what happens. <laughs> no, bro. No. <laughs> you got a family. What are you doing? They don't care. I got the eulogy. I'm actually flying Southwest. You say time, I so. got the eulogy, bro. Okay. It's not, it's not, I First of all, Southwest. you hit this if nigga. If you got Devin. the eulogy, do not wear that vampire chain you be wearing. Don't do uh, it. I don't even know what that is. That is long gone. Right. I moved on. Uh, to he gonna, I grown from the fake grandmama chains, okay? He gonna drop your casket. Hallelujah. Ain't that good? Ain't wow, that's cold, bro. Oops. This nigga this nigga said don't wear the vampire chain. Wow. I didn't know he'd be wow. wearing a vampire chain. It's not a vampire chain, like but she called it. It's not it a vampire that. chain. That's cold, it do, bro. It do I resemble don't. the one that uh, Eddie Murphy had on the vampire book. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all probably don't know what you're talking about. I honestly don't. Hold on. Let me Google. I'm going to show you. And then you're going to be like, oh, that chain. Said, Let me Google. I don't know what you're talking Anywho. about, man. See, see, who to see who's the most toxic? Big facts. Thank you. But I'm how am I toxic? Because Bishop laughed. He's still not a casualty of my joke. Bro. That's still toxic, bro. Just because he's toxic. I actually, <laughs> actually alley oop the joke. I, but you know. You know what I mean? He she toxic. Yeah. No, man. Don't she be toxic. put no leeway. No matter how you try to uh, wrap it up, she no. toxic. Toxic is as toxic does. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we. Oh, my uh, God. But now, um, so yeah, I'm not. I'm, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I just feel like, again, people can only do what they can do. Wear your mask, trying to. You know, do too much in some of these places that you know people aren't going to be wearing masks, like the club, because it'd be too hot to really have a mask on and turn up at the same time. Um, so, I mean, I think if you just take your trips and doing you, it shouldn't be nothing wrong with that. Um, but just try your best to stay away from people as much as you can, if you Listen. if you can. Yes, yeah, you know, it's easier got, said than done. I got done. like five mileage points. They need to be used by this year, so. Oh, so you ain't got no other choice. You got. I mean, I got a choice to stay home, but I'm not. <laughs> I just to put that out there. This, you, know what, you know the beauty of it? It's your life, so you can do mm -hmm. what exactly. you want to do. Yep. Run it up. Just Run. It. Run it up. <laughs> Run it up. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> this nigga here. So, yeah. um, Tori looked like he put out a new statement. On um, the situation that happened between him and yeah. Benny. how do y'all feel about that? Did y'all actually see uh, his video? Yeah, I actually checked out his uh, the whole IG live, and he basically it was more or less what he was saying on the album, but just on a IG platform. And said, "I still want to be friends." Like, yeah, so you did see friends because so she. Well, not only yeah. because I saw I saw like a, that that little part of it because people were like reposted some of it, mm -hmm. but I did see that. And I'm just like, boys, is some about when you're guilty, you just gotta get the person that you did wrong to on your side. Oh, so he guilty? Hey, I don't know. You want to know? Yeah. Why you keep switching? <laughs> yeah, this is something about boys guilty. I mean, because, right. because guilty. Because we know that she know. got shot. He's saying that. He's saying that. He, uh, he didn't. She saying that he did. So why do people have a verdict she had, already? She had bullet fragments in her foot. You only get bullet fragments in your foot if you get shot. So why do people so, have a verdict already of what, what actually happened? Who mm -hmm. has a verdict? People. Are people, people judges? <laughs> well, people. you know, the you know, fuck, you know, people are quick to judge jury and execution. You know how that is. Like... <laughs> Just off of what someone says, they'll be quick to, nah, you guilty, and you cancel. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of the things he did bring up is after the whole incident went down, people from Rock Nation was like, yo, don't make a statement. Don't say nothing. So it was like, that's why he was confused. He was like, why y'all? Why I can't say anything? Why y'all don't want me to say nothing? He was like, don't say anything. Just keep your mouth closed. 
And then that whole situation where, uh, from what he was saying, when Megan was kind of, she was about to, she was going off on Twitter, making it seem as if Tori was saying something. He was like, yo, I hadn't even been on social media like that. I haven't said anything. And that's when she had uh, dropped the live on his birthday or whatever. And he was like, yo, I, I literally didn't say anything. I didn't put out no statement or anything like that. So, like I said, I'm not sure what's going on. We will probably know until once again it goes to court. But that was just his side of the story. Yeah. So I got a question. What what happens if he is guilty? Then what? If he's guilty, then and hey, he going bro. to jail now. See that boy in 22 years. Well, that's he if he gets the maximum now. penalty. If he gets charged the maximum amount. But if he does, if it does come out that he did it, then yeah, he he's done. Because one, he's been lying about it and right. blatantly lying about it, made songs and trying to plead his case. And two, Break that money it's, you can. two is, is, you know, that's 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 some sucker <laughs> shit. Even that's if he don't shit. get the even if he don't get guilty on the aggravated assault charge, he still got uh, weapons charges. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people know California do not play when it comes to. To guns, don't. especially handguns. But just, but just oh. on the uh, Megan situation, what if, what if he's guilty? I mean, what if he's not guilty then? Like, how do you think people are going to uh, proceed finding out that he's actually not guilty of the incident? It's still, I feel like people still going to cancel him. Hmm. Well, I don't think he's going to get canceled because he ain't got canceled he now. Get, he ain't got canceled. Yeah, he still got people, you know, really riding for him. So you know, if, you know. if it comes out that was the case, then... It's really just gonna be on so bad. Is it bad for Megan? I think yeah. what we're doing, what what we have grown capable to do, is to separate the musician from the mistakes. Like mm. people have grown to do that. I mean, R. Kelly. That's... People still listen to R. Kelly, and I'm not yep. gonna lie, I'm one of them because he got some bops. Nah, I... it go past R. Kelly. George Washington. Mm-hmm. If we want to really we've, get into it, we've we've been doing that since the beginning. Like. With with slave owners and stuff like that, they kind of taught us to like praise these people. So we kind of really been separating the icon from their true identity. Mm-hmm. Just Facts. to be checking. Right. So, and people Facts. do it all the time, and it honestly it ain't it goes <clears throat> past being black. Like this is just one of the situations. To it's just like it just so happened to be amongst a bunch of black musicians and artists, and it's coming out. So. F- Whatever race, nationality, creed, sexual orientation, don't really matter. The whole fact no. is, he's not going to get canceled. No. Six nine, six nine of all people didn't get canceled. Facts. And he out here, <laughs> he out still here wearing lace fold. fronts. And he yeah. still got a, a solid yeah. following. So, yeah, true. I think people are, people are learning to like dissociate what people do wrong with what their music is. I'm not gonna lie. If he is guilty, I'm still gonna listen to his music because why? He's a phenomenal artist. I can't take that away If Tori, oh okay, Tori. Yeah, Megan is lying. She got some bops too. So it's like Tori. Like, that's to them. Those are rich people problems. I don't have those issues. Facts. <laughs> so. Oh no, I just wish oh, we all didn't get so invested into like other people's lives to the point to where we we argue. You know. Uh, you can have an opinion. You feel like who was right or wrong, and you go from there. But the fact that it gets so people get so invested <laughs> and really be going uh, in it's all day, it shows you what 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 you got time for in life. Because if you could be on social media arguing with random people you don't know, I think you need to take a step back <laughs> and think about yes. what you got going on in life. If you can literally argue online against a bunch of strangers, <laughs> then you got to step back and say, "What the fuck am I really doing with myself?" <clears throat> Arguing online with a bunch of strangers. That's exactly what you It's, it's right. one of them moments. But you know, hey, people, people, we live in this world where everyone has a voice, everyone has an opinion, and we feel that our opinion is so so important that it needs to be heard, seen, and felt throughout the internet. You know what I'm saying? That's just the world we live Niggas in. Niggas want to be Paul Revere so bad. Like, bro, relax. <laughs> Like, you don't dog. even know who Paul Revere is. <laughs> you got, you got Let some niggas, me find that. The British mm-hmm. are coming. Like they want to be the messenger for the world. Like they want to be like only, only that makes sense. You say the British are coming. 
<laughs> British shit coming. But like they I said, <laughs> them niggas is coming, the yo. With the they wanna, I want to know wanna how, how he really to know shit. everything. Hey, yo niggas is about to fuck some shit up, bro. Y'all ready? <laughs> and they rewrote their shit in history to make it sound less. Yeah, because I ain't lying I know, to you, bro. Hey, y'all finna die. Y'all finna die. <laughs> them niggas here, we surrounded. <laughs> they we surrounded, cuz. It couldn't have been yeah. me, bro. Because you know what I'm saying? We weren't treated equal, so I wouldn't have told them niggas shit. You would have just out, huh? Oh, gotta go. <laughs> hey, where Jimbo going on that neck? I'm out. Go I ain't on. telling these niggas and shit. Now you hear his drums. <laughs> <laughs> the country is fucked. We don't have America as we do today. <laughs> Y'all can have this motherfucker. Fuck it, I'm going to Canada, <laughs> nigga. We don't speak the right English anyway. Fuck you, niggas. I'm out. I'm not telling. That's why they, they send somebody white to do that job, because they already know. And you give a nigga a horse, he not coming back. <laughs> It ain't. Nigga, it ain't. Gone. <laughs> nigga oh, gone, bro. Um, um, I could have sworn them niggas was that way. Where's he? Where's he going? <laughs> that nigga left. <laughs> <laughs> that niggas wake up in the dead of night, <laughs> getting slaughtered. I thought the messenger was supposed to come back. Wake up dead, like <laughs> messenger in California right now. <laughs> <laughs> sweet life, and they get no, chilling. The Santa Monica just relaxing. Mm-hmm. The nice by himself. <laughs> like, I wonder. I wonder what the British doing right now. Fucking these niggas up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking these niggas up, bro. That's crazy, bro. History, bro. Uh, we gotta really de- take it. I think we need to do another um, crash course of history. <laughs> from all the bullshit we learned to match it up with the shit we know now. Like, I think we need, another, mm-hmm. we need a current event, like a make current uh, crash course. Right. Yeah. Make it make sense. <laughs> For real. Because, bro, like, just imagine how gullible and like a sponge you was as a kid. So, all the information yeah. you soaked in, you just knew it was true. And, like, the really trail of tears and the Mayflower Compact. Mm hmm. Like, all of this stuff that we don't even the manifest destiny, like all of these. You getting in your bag? History, what listen, really history, history is my favorite. I I used to be a beast. Oh, uh, you I, used I, to be I, a beast. I, I, I mean, kind of still am because I, you know, I still I've been watching a lot of documentaries. <laughs> so <laughs> she used to be a beast, like she said. <laughs> oh man, what's the manifest destiny one? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> all right, I ain't gonna act we'll, like I we'll remember. What's Moises. the Mayflower Compact? You don't want to go there because your your best moments was when the podcast. Your know? best oh. your best moments is when the podcast is over with. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was I'd funny. Be, I'd be highly quiet. <laughs> I ain't gotta that, be quiet here. That like was me. that was funny. Oh, you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. You had two oopsies. <laughs> When? What are we talking about? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, man. What's the clue? 3,000. <laughs> yes. It was a simple mistake, right, but a All funny right. mistake. I'm oh, that, that was Roll, a, that was a, that was a, that was a light. It wasn't, we wasn't recording. <laughs> Yeah, I oh, think we have rec- stopped recording that. Y'all that strong about it now. Put it in the clip. Put it roll in the, the clip. clip. Show it. Roll, roll the tape. Roll the tape. I wish back. I had an invisible camera. <laughs> All right, Ooh. Stupid, bro. But now, nah, um, so apparently, um, people were kind of um, up in arms about Ice Cube and his decision to mm-hmm. uh, what they call <clears throat> assist the um, Republicans. Um, with uh, a platinum plan or whatever, mm-hmm. which was their plan. Apparently, he uh, and his team came up with a, a black American uh, plan for both parties to take a look at and to take from it if they needed to, to kind of help improve and do something for black people. Because apparently he said we don't have nothing in neither one of their plans for black people. So... Apparently, the Democratic Party said, you know, what? we'll take a look at it after the election. Uh, Trump's party um, was like, all right, we'll take a look at it and was supposedly had taken a couple of things from it. I'm not sure if they really did. But um, what do y'all feel about that? Do y'all think because people have been really going in about Ice Cube, <clears throat> but I think it's really people that really wasn't paying attention to what was going on, nor reading, mm-hmm. which is a, a very, very weak trait. 
Fundamental. <laughs> For a lot of us. Mm-hmm. So, how do y'all feel about the situation? Ice I mean, Cube. You basically said it. Like, people got all up in arms because they didn't know exactly what was going on. You see a picture of Trump and and him or him and uh, Trump had some paraphernalia, whatever the case may be. <laughs> You're going to be like, oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that nigga came in there. What you talking about? What she, about to, talking she about? She about to manifest his destiny. <laughs> yeah, she about to manifest his destiny. To she about to get that Mayfly complex built. Yeah, oh, <laughs> read him the preamble, Melissa. <laughs> that's that's the, the old school. She right the video there. <laughs> Come on, Melissa. Don't do it to him. What you think, uh, Devin? Since Ross is fixing his shoes and stuff. Closing the door. I, I'm gonna piggyback back off what uh, Alicia was saying. Is everybody was act, reacting off of, off what they saw? Right. And they didn't really read the details. Me, mm-hmm. as a victim of police harassment, whoever get the results, I'm here for it. Right. I, you know, people can shame, people can talk down, but at the end of the day, he came up with a plan. His team came up with a plan and presented it to the Democrats and the Republicans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the only party that wanted to look at it <laughs> now was the Republicans. I don't see nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> but I think people's argument is, well, you know what I'm saying? We how can you fall for that? You know it's bullshit. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know it's it, it's at the same time, he did put the offer to both parties. People have, so. to, pe- people have to realize this, that in Congress, any party can throw anything out there mm-hmm. and it's up to vote. <clears throat> it's up to vote. So just because, you know, the, Republic- the Republicans present it and the Democrats, you know, deny it, then it, it seems like, OK, the Republicans drop the ball. Right. And then it's vice versa. It's, that's, just how, that's just how politics is. Mm-hmm. Facts. I mean, I think I, don't, I wouldn't. I'm not mad at Ice Cube at all because he's no. he's doing something to a lot yeah. of all the exactly. people that's sitting there talking exactly and and arguing. Ain't picked up shit. and picked up a book. <laughs> they didn't march. They didn't even walk mm-hmm. um, for a goddamn thing. Hey. They got <laughs> that's what them niggas did. Sat <laughs> and watched did. watched online. They got the biggest opinion. Comments. They got the oh, biggest yeah. opinion. Um, they just know <laughs> he who don't even who's not voting. They got yeah. the most to say. Yeah. Yes. Like I, that who. that baffles me. True. You just posted a status, I'm not voting F twenty twenty. Or you want to say people cute, that's so. trying to do something for your culture. Got the most trying to, say. to do something for your future, for your future children. You know? True. I don't you know, know, bro. I just I just feel like personally, bro, I think we need to do a lot of like reconstructing in our own community. Um, we keep looking for handouts and we keep looking for other people to change shit for us. But personally, mm-hmm. I don't think a goddamn thing gonna change until we we change ready ourselves. to create the change. Mm-hmm. Um, now you I've been saying that for years. OGs need to step up and start and start telling these young niggas to stop, you know, killing senselessly for colors and shit or neighborhoods <laughs> or blocks and streets. Um, <clears throat> we need to start being able to work with police. Uh, not working with them, you know, like just having a, a relationship with them and not being so quick. Oh, dog trying to be an informant. That's all I heard. Dog trying um, to be dog. an informant. You know, you yeah, know, I, niggas. Yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever. But <laughs> anywho, um, <laughs> you know, niggas, man. That's our problem, though, nigga. Like, mm-hmm. we, we got too many codes to the point to where we don't mm-hmm. even live fucking life. We, we, mm-hmm. we worry about so many codes to live by mm-hmm. that ain't got shit to do with a peaceful life. Bro. Traveling and enjoying yourself. Nah, oh no, nah, you gotta watch that nigga over there. Oh, you can't wear this because I oh, don't ride down there at that time. Like niggas, other niggas don't gotta worry about that. <laughs> like you know that, that, that is so important. And you know what's funny? Well, it's not funny. It's actually sad because we always bring up the, the civil rights movement, mm-hmm. and we talk about those people. Those they spoke on a national platform, but they started in their own communities. Those mm-hmm. communities back then, they were, even though they weren't related, they were all family. Everybody knew each other. Right. They knew when your children were born, they knew when they need to go to school. If you had to work and your children need a place to stay, he can stay with you until you get home. 
we don't do that no more. Like you said, it's, oh, this is my house. I'm worried about what's inside of my house, and I can care less what's going on out there. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. That's true. Um, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I like how Hispanics move sometimes. Nah, them niggas move tight. Not all like, of them, you know. We know not all of them, crazy. but most of them, most of them, they ride, they rock together. They, they, yeah. there may be a lot of people in one house, but best believe all them bills paid. Yeah. Maybe a lot of cars, but best believe all them cars paid. Mm-hmm. Like we, we got some nerve. It. Yeah, I was just about to say that we, we got some it. nerve. We <laughs> make fun of it, but them niggas, they all take care of each other. I, I live next to some Hispanics, man, and. Every time it was like every two weeks they had a new car or somebody was working on a car <laughs> fixing up one and every Friday and Saturday you heard that mm, 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 <laughs> and they just enjoying their lives bro and I can't till like three in the morning I can't get mad at that bro because it's like they, they just chilling they they had a long week they chilling got the coronas opened up relaxing in their own place, you feel me? And it's it's one of those things where we we we've gotten to that point where we don't want to, we don't people don't want help or people don't want to ask for help. Mm-hmm. You know, people want to try to do it on their own, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we've gotten so accustomed to, especially in the black community. Now, if you ask for help, you really, you know, what I'm saying you're really kind of weak. You know, what I'm saying, or you may yeah. end up in a situation where you ask someone for help and they hold that over you. You know, they'll keep that over you type stuff just to, you know, try to say, well, I, I really got you to this point. So mm-hmm. it, it's, it's sad that we are like that. It, it should be a better knit tight community. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, as long as you trying to do something, I'm trying to do something. Let's make something happen so we can both get out of this situation and better ourselves. But And we look so like stupid that. because we we always trying to look like we got it more than the next man. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like our, our biggest thing is to flex on each other. Oh, I can do Facts. this. I bet you can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> like I literally sit back, bro, and I watch niggas <clears throat> literally flex on each other. Like, and it's just like sad because none of this shit mean anything. Nope. You know what I'm saying? But you know, and we go out here and we we make <laughs> it's funny, bro. Like the whole Birkin bag thing now is like a trend. And oh yeah. I remember I went to the website and I was like, you know, let me let me go see what a Birkin bag look like. Let me them hoes must be live. You feel me? So I go in there. And I think like the, the, ones they sell in the, beauty supply. the cheapest purse I think was like five thousand or something like that, or maybe three thousand. And I'm <laughs> no, talking no, no, about no. it wasn't even no live purses. Like it wasn't even one that you like. You know, what, let me get my lady this purse for for Christmas or Valentine or her birthday. It was really I really couldn't even find the purse in like range to actually look good and i'm like bro here we are making these people rich now that's the hottest thing now like we putting it in songs so, um, honestly birkin have been in just like polo and lacoste <laughs> have been in and so the black name is getting like yeah. yeah because black people are making it you know a hot commodity but it's yeah. been around for which we decades, always do you know what Facts. i mean but the but, reason why it's like that is because birkin is you have to be a part of a club like, and you can't just walk into the store and buy a bag. So supposedly, you, when you walk into the store, they put you on a waiting list, and then you wait to, <laughs> to buy your bag. Just like he walked in there and did not wait. Right? Hey, <laughs> hey, I don't need right. no waiting list to come in here, mama. What you doing? What you doing his, in here? His destiny don't look too manifested. Yeah. You doing that pod again? But you podding again? I'm just gonna say, hey. What's that hey. p word you be doing? Yeah, what's that pod word? So it's all about. Um, I think people like it's selection, like exclusiveness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. People like to feel a part of something bigger. Like, oh, you can't get this, but only I can. I'm a part of this, so. And that's a that's a toxic mentality. Like it's it's poisonous because we don't even like we don't. That's that just shows people's traits who don't like to share their knowledge. Mm. On wealth or health or whatever it is, those are those people that just try to keep it to them. Like, no, nah, I'm good. We we good over here. We and it's just like, <laughs> come on, bro. Like, you supposed to spread that information to as many people as you can if you got it, because you can't take it with you. Facts. This is true. Come, you know, contrary to what they used to believe back in the day. Hey, bury me with my shit. All this gold. Put that nah. shit in my. <laughs> put that shit in the ground. Nah, that shit's still gonna be there while your ass is bones, <laughs> unless you, you someone you know. 
and you gonna die. No, took them. Yep, that's why they got to gate up the damn uh, cemetery because you got to make sure people ain't in there trying to dig up the damn uh, casket to get you shit. Definitely got to be grimy. There's, that's a next level griminess. <clears throat> if you stealing from somebody's grave, which it has been done before, but it's just yeah, like, <laughs> that's that's some <laughs> next <laughs> level. Yo, bro, <laughs> that's a like, lot of work. You got to dig six feet down. That's a you lot. gotta that's... lift up the cement that they put the coffin in. That's that's grimy, bro. Then you gotta lift the coffin. Then you gotta take this off a dead body. I'm sorry. Nah, they, they they climb in there. It take dedication right there. Yeah, they, they climb in there. Hard work oh, plus boy. patience. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you know, you know. hard work? But you can't go get a real job and work hard for the same money. Dedication. Hey, man, you gonna wake somebody up? Nigga, they dead. They ain't waking up. <laughs> I that thriller uh, instrument is gonna start out of nowhere. Niggas gonna start coming. Hey, bro, what y'all doing in here? What y'all niggas doing in here, bro? Hey, hey, we got one. We got one. He I always no- thought like he was people, number one. Like, <laughs> I always thought like people who live like across the street from graveyards. I don't know how they do it. I know. There's, I can't do it, bro. I can't just wake up in the morning and see old man Smithers' tombstone right out my driveway. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm man. sorry, bro. Because I don't know if it's all like walking, this morning. Walk in the grave. Oh, walk in the grave. Like, nah. I can't do it. You know, the creepiest thing is seeing your, your like your last name or something on, on a, yeah, uh, bro. a, a tombstone. Nah. That, I, I can't strong. do it. I know, you know, when you drive around the city, you may see, like, some people, they'll have some, like, it'll be a whole block just of houses and maybe 20, 30 yards in front of them, just a graveyard. I'm like, bro, there's no way, man. Like, that, I know that shit just creepy at night. Your house is going to be built on that grave. I I don't know. I be feeling like people who live that close to cemeteries, like, yo, your house got to be built on dead bodies. What if? What if? What if a lot of people's houses are that don't know it? I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. Because sure. <clears throat> a lot of those... Considering, this fact, considering the fact that most of the U.S. was not like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was nothing but plains and fields. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. I'm positive. <laughs> and all the wars and stuff that we've had and wars that we don't even know about. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. <laughs> Stumping on a couple resting mm-hmm. folks. Right. But now, uh, at least, at least ours is like in the ground, though. You know, in Louisiana, they got a oh yeah you know, above yeah, ground time. situation in southern Louisiana. So yeah, because of the it's it's uh, below sea level, level, so yeah, that that's you walk over even, there, bro. Like I've been to so many Louisiana, you know, like criminals, and, mm-hmm. and they I had to be parties, used to that. They be like, dun, 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 dun. yeah, because it's a it's a homecoming. They believe it's be a like, homecoming. Okay. <laughs> Well, or heard. in other countries where they uh mm-hmm. where they dance with the casket or whatnot, like right, the, that takes some skill. Like people, no, nah, that does. I be like, that man, does. That, I've been a pallbearer. It ain't fun. It ain't nowhere yeah. I think about putting it on my shoulder. And shoulder, just, and them niggas be. Man, you get nervous as soon as you put your hand on. Oh uh, yeah, knees, bro. That's a slip. lot of that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> and them my gloves, hands got sweaty that quick. Gloves be slippery, man. I be like, y'all pick the slippery oh. gloves. I've seen a video where <laughs> one of the football. bodies fell out. They need some grip. You said what? What? I've seen a video when one of the bodies fell out. I was like, oh. I've seen that. No. It must they have been. They was dancing. No. no. That was, it was real. Like, one of the, the body actually fell out because I don't know how it happened, but they one of the guys ended up dropping it in the body. I was like, oh, Jesus. I remember a girl oh, saying gosh. that she went to a funeral and the body raised up in the middle of the funeral. Um and I was like, bro, I would have. All right, it's been a nice podcast. We love you guys. Appreciate y'all, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See how long. But they wasn't alive. <laughs> man, I would have. I would. It would have been another funeral. <laughs> I'd be gone. Especially nah, if you going up there, you viewing the body, and then next thing you know, it's <laughs> like, oh hell no, nah, cuz. I don't want to think about that. that. Nah. <laughs> or but or the morticians, man. Like they they're surrounded by that all day, every oh, day. Yeah. They get like, yeah. big money though. Yeah. So imagine them just doing their daily reports late at night, you know what I'm saying? By themselves, number bodies. And you know, like uh, bodies, they still a lot have, of that like, happens though while they, they have like um yeah, they still their muscles and nerves, they nerves. Still while they're mm. dead. And um I have a 
I don't well, he's not really my friend, but I, I know a mortician, a morticianist. Mm-hmm. And friend. when he went to mortuary school, mm-hmm. he said that one of the bodies, one of the cadavers that he was uh working on, well, yeah, one of the cadavers that he was working on, mm-hmm. um, has still had live nerves. And oh. every time when he cut in them, like the hand would be like Oh, that's mm-hmm. oh Nah, nah, nah. I was like, yo, nah, nah, what? Nah, 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 nah. Who, who you turn? Nah, 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 nah. Ron Osley over there? That nigga's nah, nah, nah. Wow, 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 nah. wow. I'm start singing. Nah, 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 nah. nah, I used to be scared to think because when I was, um, when I had dreams of being a cardiologist, I remember they said in medical school you have to to do the little dreams. operation on the, the dead dreams body. Dreams and aspirations. And I was like, That's man, I can't do it. Couldn't do it, man. That that would have been tough. Mm-mm. Hey, hey, shout out to all the morticians out there, man. Someone has to do the job. You guys do it. And a uh, salute to they you. Pay the money, money, money. Because you, you're better than me. <laughs> you're better than me. You wouldn't so. do it, Ross, for a billion? Nope. A billion dollars. One billion. Just one body. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I'll, put them, I'll put them gloves on so quick. <laughs> what? <they> got me. <laughs> bah, nah, bah. Bro. What do we nah, got to do? <laughs> I can't do it, bro. I just, we doing nah. a lumbotomy? Let me go. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga has gloves for real, bro. Where the gloves go? Oh, uh, yeah. Hello, Debbie. Yeah, that's, that's... <laughs> This nigga been we, practicing. We, in we ain't asking the right question. I told y'all, man. Yeah, I, uh, we... My sinus been acting up, but I didn't know what it was. No, so we I not asking. Ask right. Right. Why you got gloves for your sinuses, bro? <laughs> Because I do still live at home. This thing you do. I, and if it was COVID, I didn't want to, you know, spread it to my family. So, you, so what's the gloves for? It's a precaution. So I have to touch something out of my room. She being an ass, bro. It's all right. She is. I know she it's is. Okay. It's, it's okay. been a long time. I'm here for it. She fly spirit. <laughs> she fly spirit. <laughs> it's stupid. Bear with us. <laughs> you gotta be an ass if you fly spirit, bro. Oh, you, you don't you, give a fuck. Oh, you care about life. <laughs> you don't give a fuck about shit. If you don't care about yourself, you don't care about the next nigga feeling. Hey, I get where I'm going. Point A to point B. So <laughs> this nigga, that's nigga said I get where I'm going. That's your duffel bag. Said I care about shit. This nigga said I get where I'm going, bro. I don't care. I get where I'm going. Barely. 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 Man, I rode spirit. I know one how time. to swim too, again. so I ain't never scared. Oh, you ain't gotta worry about swimming. <laughs> That's cool, swimming through bro. the clouds. <laughs> the flying death. <laughs> 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 uh, it appears we're heading to a mountain range. I don't know how we got over here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but uh, may want to brace us. <laughs> the near exit is that way. Brace that way. We don't have time Sorry, to turn folks, away from uh, the object. Maybe All we have is uh, two parachutes. Uh, <laughs> All we have is two parachutes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And you don't hear nothing else? What a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say, All we have is two parachutes. <laughs> that pilot <laughs> gone, boy. <laughs> I, I, I always wish that we could have parachutes on for every person, but I know that would mess up the weight. And I was like, man, they need to adjust that then. That way, you know, we'll have some type of reassurance that just in case, pull this button. I'll make it home tonight. Home tonight. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're for the last, last time, time, baby. baby. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Was, what? It's not going. It's not. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all wasn't listening. Y'all was saying. Y'all was singing when the lady was up there. <laughs> it's not going. It's not. <laughs> when working. the lady was up there telling you what to do, y'all was singing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> nigga, just falling back to earth. Real question. Oh shit. <laughs> he said, oh, baby. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, where is where is a life jacket? Where is a life jacket located on a plane? That's a good question. Under the seat. Y'all don't know. It, you under did. The seat. You I don't remember. Seat. I'm not dead. Under the seat. I listen to the flight you. attendant. They tell you every Yeah, they flight. tell you at the you're beginning. Dead, but you're dead because you don't even How? know. Oh, I'm but sorry. It's under the seat. Ross, Ross. Ross. Mm-hmm. It's it's under the seat and coach. <laughs> <laughs> At first class. <laughs> Yeah. First class. Hey, first class right. is still under the seat. They come, the they seat. come throw it to you. <laughs> they come throw it to you. <laughs> Here you go, my <laughs> man. Because what he go, he go a Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> he go a Gucci life jacket. <laughs> Thank you, my guy. I mean, I thought they pushed the. They announced that stuff. First like, of all, you don't got flight. room on Spirit to get nothing under the seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's your luggage space, nigga. Why you I don't? Ch- I, well, I'm not flying Spirit, can't do. 
You gotta you yeah, gotta right. choose either a <laughs> life like vest Cali, I will be. She a life act vest different. or a luggage, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta choose one when you get on the plane. Look, you wanna live or you wanna have your shit out there? Which one? Pick one. Cause you can't do both. <laughs> we, we can't fit that on here, bro. I'm we can't sorry. do everything. <clears throat> we can't. I'm, I'm sorry. It's so just... what are we doing? We living or we? <laughs> oh, you want to be fashionable to your destination? <laughs> Because yeah, it's not a guarantee we're going to land this plane right. I'm just letting you know. I got my shit offline. I got my shit. This nigga came straight out of flight simulating school. If he be, missed be like, run, uh, right? be like Snoop Dogg on uh, mm. <laughs> Soul Plane. Got it simulated in prison. Dog. Uh, I'm glad. Uh, that was stupid, bro. Yeah, making me scared to fly again. <clears throat> Let me think about all I mean, I'm, I'm down. I'm down to fly. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on where the destination is. Depends on the destination, bro. What's the I longest? On, what's the longest you guys? <laughs> what? <laughs> what he said? Saying, he said my depends first time on the airline. I flew Spirit, and I said never again. I was sleep, and we hit what's an app pocket. I was like, oh, no. I what's didn't up? pay for it. First of all, I didn't. Oh, I was, okay. Well, I, you I was, know, it's it's free. It was free. <laughs> okay, so Ross, you doing that free free trip? Spirit, you you down? Well, I know the ramifications of that decision, so no. This nigga, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, I'll, I'll pay the. F- I'm, I'm good. I'll be all right. Be high class. Ain't nothing wrong with bro. It's free. I'm, I'm going. I just be praying the whole nah, time. I'm good, bro. If they got a Nike plane or something, you know what I'm saying? I, I I'm gonna hop on that. Bad I ain't trusting no Nike plane. You, I'm gonna hop on that bad boy. I don't care. I don't like okay, this, bro. Bro. okay, <laughs> you don't like this. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> Just so we ain't got no seat belts, we ain't got nothing. It's just shoes back there. I'll mm-hmm. be fine. Look, look, just flew it. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I can brace myself. Oh, now you tripping. I'll be all right. Tripping, tripping. I'm good, bro. I'll the shoes. Right. Hey man. I'm gonna die with some shoes. If they want me to go to the headquarters, but they can only get me on the cargo plane, I'm cool with it. I'm good. Man, look. Who said you're going Keep to the headquarters? Spirit. Hey, man, that's the mission, bro. Hey, he got, he got hopes and aspirations. Yeah, I got yeah. hopes and aspirations. It's like, it's like you man. had aspiration to be a cardiologist. That's cold, bro. <laughs> it was more... It was... Uh, I ain't do that. Ross, you got it, bro. You can you can do it one day. Hey, thank you, man. Thanks for believing in me, bro. Right. Somebody does on this podcast. Only some of us, you know? Not everybody. <clears throat> <laughs> This is this is this is pocket podding right here, man. One on one. It's about time y'all start podding. <laughs> man, I miss y'all. I he said, pod. "You don't be podding." Oh, hogwash! He <laughs> said hogwash. What? Hogwash! <laughs> I don't hear that that hogwash you spitting over there. I'm always podding. The last oh. couple of episodes you have been for the most exactly. part. Exactly. The last exactly. couple. Run me, run me my, run me my, my stats. Ross, put my stats <laughs> on the board. Ross, you in a plane, you're flying, okay. and you look out the window and you see Homelander. What are you doing? <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? It's raps, G. I already know how this story ends, and I'm black, too. It's raps, G. He wasn't racist. Well, he, he wasn't racist, but he wasn't just like, he was like passive. You know right, what I'm saying? We talking about, talk about The Boys, for people that don't know the show. on. Uh, Have you seen the, the Boys, Devin? No. Oh, dang. Yeah. Yeah, Devin, Devin saw the girls. <laughs> the girls. What? Look, it's the girls. <laughs> the spinoff. I ain't, I ain't seen that either. That must be on Hulu. <laughs> no, it's the boys is real. The girls that was made up. Definitely. Oh, the boys. Yeah, okay. It's, it's basically about if superheroes. If superheroes. <laughs> were, <laughs> I thought it was a low budget boys. I didn't know. Nah, it's basically like if superheroes were real, like in today's society, and oh, if they were okay. ran like by uh, a co- corporation, how they would act and interact with normal people, bruh, shit's entertaining as it's hell. So, yeah, definitely. If you get a chance, check it out. I'm oh boy, season two. Oh boy, what? You nothing? It's bro. going crazy. Huh? I already hear it. Don't mute yourself, Ross. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Blondie is going crazy back there. She oh. wants to see the boys oh. again because it was such a good episode. So she's oh, wow, like, that's cold, bro. Oh, there she goes. <clears throat> what up, Blondie? She hey, Blondie. Chill. Did she fall? What up, B? Oh, uh, she right. She just she plopped down on the bed. Yeah, she right behind me, man. Damn, why you say plop? Just just like, just plop. <laughs> she tired. <laughs> 
She be sleeping all day, man. She wouldn't be doing shit except living her best life and eating. She felt how uh, Simba did when. Uh, yeah, exactly. Rafiki got all that shit. <laughs> he blew it's, it all the way to him. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Who know they Lion King? Classic, bro. Classic, classic. So, uh, how are we wrapping this up, man? This is a good episode, though, by the way. No, this was definitely lighthearted. Um, I guess we we do have to take time to, you know, talk about or at least make aware of what's going on. Is it in Nigeria? Yeah, it's Nigeria. Okay. Nigeria. Yeah. Uh that in SARS, that whole situation, I literally just found out about it yesterday. I didn't know anything mm-hmm. what was going on. Uh, and now I'm starting to see it more on my timeline. Um from what I know and just some of the stuff that I've looked up before we got on the pod is basically it's like a I'm not sure if they're like part of they're part of the government, but it's like they they can like the certain there's certain officials, they can like the police over there, they can do certain things and not like they have impunity. Like it's one of those type of situations where if they like want martial law, like permanent yeah. martial law. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'm guessing they're protesting over there and peacefully protesting and people are just getting gunned down and murdered by officials and nothing's happening. And uh, apparently this has been going on. This is not even just something new. This has been going on for a while. It's just now more people are starting to be aware of the situation. And yeah, then, like uh, this. And I'm glad like as this shows when social media is uh key and prominent um, mm-hmm. to break up like this but SARS is basically a special branch of the Nigerian police force uh, okay. created in 92 to deal with uh, crimes associated with robbery and firearms so um, they're the special anti-robbery squad mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> and yeah so I've seen another video as well I don't know if this was exactly them but um, it was like a man they had tied up against a log hovering over like a fire or something and they was like hitting them with AKs or something. It's one of the videos that I seen when I looked it up. And uh, it looked like they was kind of like, you know, uh, questioning him and hitting yeah. him and slapping him as, you know, like you would put some hanging over some, a fire mm-hmm. and cook. Is yeah. Basically what it looked like they was doing to the homie. So um, uh, definitely sending our prayers to them. And we should do what we can to educate ourselves on it. And now that we're made aware of it, uh, we can you know, use our voice to let it be known that it's not right. You know, any inequality to a human being, we need to stand up and fight against it. I've heard, I believe, I think Beyonce, Rihanna, I think some more celebrities have actually made, you know, have talked about it or made it aware on their platforms Mm -hmm. as well. Um, Yeah, this is one of those things where how the whole world was trying to stand with us for George Floyd, we gotta right. kind of do the same for yeah. these people out here, cause you know that's that's messed up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like bro. that's 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 a different level of of messed up, cause uh, when there's no ramifications for these officials, and they can just do whatever the hell they want to get whatever information they want. It doesn't matter who get killed or who get hurt. Like that's that's the next level. That's some savagery shit, bro. Not yeah. in the best way. You know what I'm saying? That that. That's reminds me of the though what we learned in uh in school of like the Victorian era where they literally, you know what I'm saying, if whatever that person said, if they were part of part of the law or part of the government, that's just what it was. And there was no if ands or buts, there wasn't no looking into it. If they deemed mm-hmm. you guilty, that's it. That was it. You was dead. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, no, it's just we got to bring into realization that human life is precious and it's important. And we can't can't get so used to people being killed to the Mm -hmm. point to where it's it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Are we not up in arms or just as angry about it? You feel me? Like life is precious, bro. You don't get a reach. So, you know, we may joke and have fun, but we need to really, you know, understand that we got to appreciate our time here and it shouldn't be taken from you. Shouldn't be Mm -hmm. taken from you just because another person just feels like oh i got that power over you you know what i mean yes, there's, right, there's no bro. there's no gods walking on earth so facts say speaking, it louder for the people the gods, the uh real quick how do y'all feel about uh the pope uh pretty much um agreeing with a civil union for same-sex marriage <clears throat> i don't mean i don't 
Wow. Yeah, this is one of those things. It's, 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 Listen, what do you think? <laughs> Who was that to? Bishop. Hey, Bishop. Oh, okay. Unless, unless you something we don't know about, Ross, you, you applying for something? <laughs> uh, no, no. I was just like, oh, all right. That's that's cool. We're going to call you Air Bishop. Oh, <laughs> Too much? Okay. Let's go. Too Air Pope. Air Pope. Air Pope. <laughs> I mean, just do, I'll, I think, I'll say this for after the podcast. They do it, it's some Pope inspired Nikes. Oh, okay, bro. Set up, set up, Ooh, set up bro. They, Come on, David. Nah, bro. I'll tell you after they the They fired. Moses. They fired. No, they bro. They holy. They actually got the water from the Nile, like no cap. They got the water in, from okay. the Nile in the air, but bro, I'll tell you about it later. The most expensive as fuck, but I will never get them. Well, maybe one day. I don't know. Who knows. You sound, yeah. crazy. you sound crazy. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> It's later in my list. Later, bro. some Nile That's River cool. water. <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah. for Nike, Devin. Devin, I'm so sorry. Anywho. We have to deal with that. No, nah, we. I understand. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. It was Shout part of the topic. No, Devin. Shout out to Moses, please, Devin. Hey. Uh, not nah, Air Moses. Well, how... Devin. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're not yeah, talking not, about not Moses. Moses Malone. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. A... I got you. Um, I really. <laughs> It's, it's, I really don't, when I saw it, I was like, I, I can't judge him. I don't have a heaven or hell to put nobody in. Mm-hmm. Here we go. You know, his choice, he got a deal. <laughs> you know, we know what the Bible says, but I treat everybody as they're human. I love everybody. <laughs> I might just, I might dislike what, you, how, you know, things you say, mm-hmm. but I don't, I can't condemn you nowhere. So. That's, that's, that's I feel, real, man. I, but I think I think he did that for politics. Mm-hmm. Why you say that? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Why you thank say that? you. Yeah. It's all it's all political. She was waiting on the P word. <laughs> oh, I P was word. like, I was like, please. I was just, I was hoping you wasn't gonna of say it's politics. Like all spiritual, but no, it's definitely it's politics. One hundred percent politics. When yeah. haven't the church been political though? It's been all. Well, always remember there was a long time ago separation of church and state. It's the reason why they did that. Uh-huh. It was the reason why they did that. It was because of stuff like this. Like the church was once upon a time respected, and mm-hmm. there were just certain things that people, even people who were gay or whatever, they had a reverence for what the church stood for. Mm-hmm. Am I a homophobic? I'm not. Do I agree with um, same sex marriage? Eh, you can't procreate. So kind of no. But I would want my son to be gay. Right. Um, but if, he, if other people want to go and, you know, do what they do, all right, whatever. I'm, I'm Like I said, I don't have a... Well, like Bishop said, I don't have a heaven and hell to put him in. But mm-hmm. the church has no business associating themselves with politics. But because politics are now heavily... <laughs> church, and it's not even just from, like... The Catholic, we talking about Pentecostal, we talking about Baptist, like they got politicians coming to church mm. giving lectures. Like, what? Mm. You know I what I mean? That. Oh, yeah. They had one come to my church. I was like, sir, what's this? But, anyways, needless to say, this sir. nigga says, sir, what are you doing here? It happens, but it but but it's happening. <clears throat> it's happening more now than ever because one thing politicians know, both mm. Democratic and Republican is that if you get the church people on your side, yep. they gonna ride to the wheels fall, fall off. So question, they're, I mean, yeah, yeah, because of their, because of what they believe in. We believe in Jesus, of whom we haven't seen, can't hear. <laughs> we can hear from him spiritually. I'd say, speak for yourself. <laughs> he he talked me earlier, but you ain't never, you ain't never had no conversation like call him on the phone and be like, "Hey, what's up?" Bro? There, you can't, you can't see him. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like it's somebody who you who you've never seen, but that's what the epitome of faith is. So that's we right. divide strongly by faith. Oh, she know bad right now. person who we haven't seen, she but we can see the candidate who's running for office. Bag. Right. And so when that person comes in, we're like, well, we can see him. We know what he's doing. He said he's mm. gonna do this, so we got what faith in him. <laughs> this nigga said all their faith in them, uh, and next thing you know. <laughs> They got, like you, got, you got a forever, you have a forever, a forever home within the church because you came personally 
and said what you were going to do and you probably more than likely was the first candidate to ever do so. So mm-hmm. now you've got them like locked. Hey, like you, y'all bitches. Like, but the, the kicker is you don't hear from them no, after the election. Kick. This nigga you said the kicker you don't. is. <laughs> but, 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 but then again, uh-huh. church people are going to all, especially the older ones. I yep. love baby boomers to death. I love them to death. <clears throat> but when it comes to stuff like this and when it comes to like the internet age, they are very, very naive. And I I, re- I hate to say that. Like they're wise in a lot of ways, but naive in a lot of ways. And I know this because... I mean, I go to church with a lot of them. And the way that they see faith, it's almost illogical. Like, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, I know, like, a lot of people would say, like, well, faith doesn't make sense because you're believing in someone of who you've never seen before. Or you Mm -hmm. pray to someone of who you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... (laughs) You You you, you never seen Aaron, but it's here. Yeah, but when you see the the candidate, you you see what he's done in the office. And then you still say, well, you know what? He came to the church. We might as well. We I might as well. <laughs> I feel like that's low key. Like, Why you had that accent? Really though. naive. Like, do y'all think that um, no. the Republican Party um, pretty much has a lot of viewpoints from the church? What do you mean? Yes. Which They're makes the church more conservative, oh, yeah. meaning no anti-abortion. No mm-hmm. same-sex marriage. So when you really think about it, don't the church views mimic Republican views in a way? I feel like I feel like Republicans mimic. <clears throat> well, they mimic each other. They, I mean, they get stuff from each other because the Bible came out before Republicans. No, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, just as so, far as like the the things that they be trying, because you know, a lot of like Democrats are like, you know, they want to allow you or they say they want to allow women to have a choice of having a baby or getting rid of it and they want to allow you know legalize gay marriage in all states um but when you think the bible and christianity a lot of this christianity views and viewpoints kind of side more with the conservative republican some of the ways of thinking like not the you know as you know i got a I got a perfect example from the Republicans and Democrats. Republicans are like your more traditional Christians. Hmm. They're going to stick to that old school. They're going to stick to the scripture. Right. And it's, it's kind of, and she going to agree what they say goes. Hmm. The Democrats is more about hearing what we don't like about that tradition. Hmm. So just like, well, Hey, I want a choice with my body. So mm-hmm. I'm a vote Democrat. Okay, well we're gonna make you you're gonna make you have your choice for abortion instead mm-hmm. of just you know, just banning it. Mm-hmm. And or we we gonna make we we gonna make you feel better compared to the Republicans it's gonna do for them. Right. Mm. So that's why like this election was real hard for me, but I'm not gonna talk on it. Mm-hmm. But because it, it, yeah, because both parties had a lot of you know had a lot of troops, and I'm just being honest with you. But then both parties I mean, had a lot of stuff makes, like. That's oh, go what ahead. Make, that, that's what makes the that's what that, that's what makes the presidential candidate um, candidates um, interesting, especially this time because I did and I, I'm gonna say this, but. Oh, I really don't get, care. We about to get canceled, Jan. Damn oh, it! Oh boy, <laughs> got thirty six no, episodes at least. I, I don't waiting. like Trump. I don't like Trump as a person. I I've think he is a terrible I've person. Been waiting. I've been waiting. I, I really do. I think he's a terrible <laughs> person. But I do agree with some of his policies. I do agree with not the way that he thinks and not the way that he delivers what he thinks or his thought process. But I can respect how fast he acts in certain situations. I have to say that. I respect that. Not only as being someone who came from the military, but someone who is now a vet, living a veteran's life, and also I'm a Christian. So it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? I, have, I, have, I, re- I, respect, I respect that. I don't respect him as a person, but some of the things that he's implemented while he's in office, I get behind. However, comma, pause for effect. I do oh, agree boy. with Kamala 
and I do agree with Biden on some of their views and their policies as far as <laughs> Medicare, Medicaid, um, you know, mm-hmm. the, the, the tax thing that he's getting ready, to, that he wants to implement with the rich and people are getting mad at him talking about, well, I don't want to do that. Do you, do you make $400,000 a year? Mm. Do you make half a million dollars? You don't. You barely, you barely pushing forty. So the nigga says you don't. Wow. You barely pushing forty, but, but, and you talking about something. He he's doing 40 something. Forty gang turn up. Listen, <laughs> if, if that's you and that's your bracket, all right, cool. But you have no business being mad at Biden for one him wanting to to tax the people that which what should have been happening in, for years. It should have been happening, but they find these loopholes because they have the money. But anyways, like I said, both parties have interesting views on things and the good thing about what's happening now is that you got our generation and a generation that's below us that are not just have that itch near like oh you tell me what i want then I, we about action like we want to see what you're gonna do and if you don't do it the first time around well, you getting the hell out all right we right. get me out of there that's how mm-hmm. it is we but you got this yeah, you know, then you got the baby boomers who is all about tradition. It's all about, well, you know, we got to keep it going. Why? Why? Y'all, y'all don't want to question nothing? Like, what's mm. going on? Here? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So that's what a church splitting in, in, into two. And I know because I'm very involved with my church and I see it happening every single, I, I, it's happening. That's it's why you there. have a lot of independent churches out yep. there. Yep. When and you, you think got, of these independent churches, they're young leadership because yep. of tradition. Yep, and, and about like the, a the, label? Church is, the church is split into two. You got traditional Christians, which is what Bishop said, who are mm-hmm. basically the Republicans, and then you got the Democrats, which are us, the young people, the one that are yeah. The, and then you got the Liberal Party, like the Independent Party, who is like, you know what? I ain't for neither one of y'all. You know mm. what I mean? I want change from both sides, and neither one of y'all are providing me with that. So I'm a, I'm gonna go independent. You know what? That's a that's a huge. <clears throat> that's a huge conversation, you know, yeah. in which needs to be had and um, discussed to where, because, you know, a house divided can't stand. So mm-hmm. when when there's friction in a home, the foundation isn't going to hold, you know what I'm saying? And it always reveals itself, you know what I'm saying? Like, even the whole Trump thing, like, all niggas always talk about Trump honestly but to from what i can see trump been the same nigga since they was rapping about him so i'd be trying to figure out at what point did trump How you change cooking with grease? and i mean this is me speaking from back in the like just seeing him through mm-hmm. the his show and all that it's like trump been the same from back what i can tell <laughs> from way back in the day so it's like at this point I don't, he hadn't switched up <laughs> he didn't switch like he just still the same mm-hmm. arrogant I got money from me, daddy type nigga. You know what I'm saying? And it's like he just been rolling that way since the very beginning. But I'm trying to figure out at what point did the rappers, did he not become cool no more? Was it because he was running and he was not this is, being, now you, being now you talking? I mean, now it was talking. just my, I just always had this question because I'm like, bro, I, I'm not one of them niggas that just go along with other black people like oh that goddamn yeah. trump's a racist all these motherfuckers are racist like yeah let's keep it stacked. <laughs> it's like let's just keep it 1000 <laughs> like it's it's a lot of these niggas that look at you or with a with a nose up you know what i'm saying when you come in the the uh the building when it look like what the fuck this nigga doing in here like when you know what i'm saying when it look like you in a spot where it should just be them you you mm-hmm. spotlight so it's like a mm-hmm. lot of a lot of these people got that look towards this. So it's like, why is it all of a sudden now, you know, we try to push this racism, racism, he, he's a, he's a, and I'm just like, bro, that nigga been the same <laughs> from mm-hmm. what I can remember. Since and the niggas had him in his rap videos, had him in he was on about episodes him, but, on TV. Mm-hmm. But, he was on but Fresh Prince. He was. Definitely was on Fresh Prince. Behind the house, but, but, let's, mm-hmm. but let's be real. Have Trump said in his original, because we all go back to his first original campaign when he came up with Make Make America Great Again. Did he ever say anything to promote racism? Let's just be real. No. I just think Make America, personally, I don't like to Make America Uh, Great Again. No, he did. What did he say? I if, if I didn't talk about Mexican, wait, wait a yeah, minute. He, he, he was definitely on he some. Said, uh, he oh, said that's Mexican. right. 
He said, oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Like, I forgot. I forgot about the Mexicans. He's like, get these Mexicans out of here. Get these Mexicans out of here. I forgot about that. And then that, was about, that was his own That was his own campaign. Now, you, I, I was with you until you... Uh, now, they okay. house divided. God damn. The house is divided. <laughs> okay, good, now, y'all dividing your house. But but I, I, I mean, did, I did have this. I did have this conversation with one. I said, you know, we got mad at Trump because he didn't put the policies that we wanted him to put in place. How can we get mad at him of the policies he didn't even preach about? He came in and he was all about business. That's just be real. He's a businessman. He don't have no successful business, but he's right. <laughs> but he he can talk a good business game. He mm-hmm. came in and it was business, 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 business. It wasn't no education. Uh, it wasn't make Flint water good again. That's what we need. <laughs> Them niggas make Flint damn, water clear again. That's fucked up, bro. These niggas don't. You know, have so good, we can't water. get ups- we can't get upset at- for something he didn't even say he was going to do. We get up. We get upset. I think. I think we give them. I think we not to cut you off, Malisha, but I think we give them too much, too much um, attention, like. Oh, yeah. Niggas don't know shit about things in a local level. Like, mm-hmm. Let's just be honest. Like the niggas you really can push to the edge is as niggas that's down the street from you, downtown. Them motherfuckers. Yes. We don't, we don't put enough pressure on them, but we all. I mean, I get the whole presidential thing on the federal level. I know that 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 has a big umbrella effect, but you really got uh, a more close effect to you at close range when it comes to your officials at your city hall and stuff and who you electing as mayor or who you allowing to um be a representative Maybe of the state all Maybe that the governor the governor can fucking call and say hey don't Attorney execute general man don't yeah. execute him you can save somebody life but you can't save a brother life who was probably innocent you know what i'm saying like but we that's a more right here type of scenario that we got to deal with and we do not focus on that. Like, there's damn near an election every fucking year. But the only one we give a damn about is the one every four years. And then that's the thing for the niggas that be like, vote, 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 vote. Where is this fucking energy 365 days out the uh, fucking year? Because there's another election next year. And the one after that, mayors are every two years. We, we don't put no pressure to make sure niggas are educated at all times. But when the four every four years... We want to talk our shit and hold our nuts and be like, oh, nah, y'all ain't voting. Y'all. It's like niggas don't know. If you keep that pressure, maybe a nigga will get involved and learn like, damn, voting this on is- this can change my streets. It can. I, but I honestly feel like, I honestly feel like we need, like I said, the last podcast, we basically get into the same bag that we talked about last podcast and pretty much all the podcast from before then. You ain't got to say it when- like that. <laughs> hey, what? So you ain't got to say it like that. <clears throat> Oh no, I'm just saying that like it's 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 a good thing because you know you're talking about pushing and pushing. But what I'm People saying is pushing. exactly Ross, like always and can't. <laughs> but so what I'm saying is <laughs> damn that's come crazy. on, Melissa. Come on, say it. <laughs> nah, her point is being invalid now. <laughs> nah, the point is invalid now, bro. Once you try to make a serious point after making an asshole comment. I'm telling you, man. Devin, why did you look at your water like that? Why did you look at your water like that when you drink? Because this is none of my business. I'm listening. This nigga here, bro. Hey, man. I I feel like people need to educate themselves and stop putting the the, the pressure on. Oh, well, well, if Zero not doing it, if he ain't said, then it can't be true. Like, bro, it's as simple as as simple as you getting on the internet, just like you go and log into whatever it is that you want to find out. You get on the computer. There he is. You get <laughs> you on said, the computer. What you doing there? And you and you and you find out what's going on. You find out what's important to you. But the thing is, people are gonna vote for what's important for them. People mm-hmm. are gonna pay attention for what's important to them. And honestly, if your streets tan up your car is not enough for you to figure <laughs> out how you need to get this fixed, then you're the problem. You are the problem. Mm-hmm. Nobody else is the problem but you. Because I ain't gonna lie, black people got that job. bad. We we Bro. don't we don't we don't raise up arms for shit that really matters. <laughs> like Bro. sometimes we do. Mm-hmm. Until it gets really like if it ain't no police killing us, we don't give a fuck about it. nothing else. We we just say fuck it. My rose yeah. is fucked up. I keep fucking with these rims. <laughs> these bloods and crips shooting outside my fucking house every night. 
kids can't even walk to the goddamn bus stop because they scared of niggas. We don't give a fuck about nothing else. But let's be honest. We don't give a, we don't say shit about nothing. Let a white cop kill one of us. Oh, he's he motherfucker. Hey, you got you better arm yourselves. It's like nigga, th- the niggas are armed. <laughs> That's where all of the fucking killing is going already. Right. Mm-hmm. I just I just ones wish, that don't need to be armed. Like mm-hmm. nigga, I wish we were really. I think we need to have we talk about white people and that writing the letter shit, but they fucking get shit done. They <laughs> oh, oh 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 she's gonna hear about this. Yeah, like the we, day we, I was we, driving down postal. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas, they they get into they bag. They get into their little care. bag. Them we don't know, bro. South Post, like post, it is terrible here. You do like, that? Oh my god! Oh my <laughs> god! I'm like, bro. And I'm driving five miles an hour doing this. You on a monster truck? Bro, be making me so That's mad. Bro, Especially uh, driving by Windsor Village. Mm-hmm. Bro, uh, like that's that's how MLK was for the longest, like. MLK was just, bro. It's just that's sad, especially in a dead end area, especially by dead end. The street name yeah, after Martin Luther King is the most fucked up. That's you cold, wanna got, bro. You wanna got your name written in concrete? Stop playing, Warren. I don't know what are you talking about there. That's some hood <laughs> shit. You got your name written in concrete. You know on the concrete. No, <laughs> I didn't. Concrete, no, yeah. sounds like you're familiar with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from there. That's, you are too. No, I'm not. I'm not yeah. from there. Anywho, uh, <laughs> like I was saying, um, not to go off on a rant or a tangent, I just wish people, uh, I, I just wish we got together more, man. It's, it's, it's a, it would be a beautiful thing if we can come together in our numbers that we have. We already popular. We make, we like the popular kids in school that don't fuck with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like if we actually came together. We would actually make a lot of shit happen. Like just, just all a lot of shit shake for sure. Nah, for real, because we got that aggressiveness and that 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 will with us to see something through. You feel me? Like we we don't give up and we forgiven. You know, we've been Very through a forgiving. lot. We've been through a lot as a culture and a community. And I feel like if we just learn how to kind of break through that pride and that ignorance that we have towards one another, it will make a beautiful race. Like out more than what we already are. <laughs> Facts. Mm-hmm. He's out having it, man. He's like, yo, yeah. in this podcast, bro. Like, bro, what is going on in here? Yeah, what y'all talking about? No, this yeah, is a good one, show. though. This this is a, a key podcast Not and a very a, good one. Unexpected, but definitely highly needed conversations. And I think we need to get more into that bag next podcast about the religions in the church because um niggas are scared to talk about shit like that. Yeah. All right, bro. I'm just we saying, going to man. the top. We're going to the top, all right. Top of the cancel list, my nigga. Because we to as, niggas, long as, as long as your uh, Nike order don't cancel, you should be good. All right. So, uh, with that, with that, big with facts. That I just ordered something. Why you was why you was potting? Why was potting? That's why your head was down. You see this, ladies and gentlemen? His, no, I was his, looking his, at this. Nah, nigga. I'm looking right here. It's right this here. It says, this is, thank you. This is thank you, you guys. <laughs> They told me thank Y'all, you. Y'all, no attention. He just wanted to. I was do paying his. attention, bro. I just had to make uh-huh. sure that the sizes were correct. Nike, Nike is life. <laughs> you might as well get the damn tattoo. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm yeah, not, you are. I'm no, not gonna no. get no brand. I, I already no, said I would soon. never get a brand on me. Not a brand. No, I'm not gonna get no Nike tattoo. Nah. See, <laughs> <laughs> just get just do it. I K E. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. He laughing because he thinking about it. I'm not doing that, bro. I already know what tattoos I want. So he gonna get. get Nike. He gonna get Nike in the in the shape of the, so he don't have to get the emblem. No, I'm I'm good, man. No, I'm, the outline. I'm good, bro. I'm, <laughs> not gonna, I'm not gonna get it. I'm I'm good. Give me your skin, boy. But now, um, appreciate y'all for joining, man. Episode thirty six. Hopefully, we get the bishop back on here, man. Uh, for sure. We love oh, having you, my guy. Um, I stay, enjoyed it. I miss y'all. Right, for we sure, miss man. you too, bro. Stay healthy out you there. Too, we didn't know you had the latex gloves and stuff. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even know. We didn't know that was going on, but man, you know. I got Zyrtec, Tylenol. I'm shovel. just, I'm just happy that I'm negative. It's just a regular cold, man. All right, I got you. Oh, so you do have a cold? That's why I sound stopped up. Oh, I didn't notice. Been wow. And we're going to end on Malisha's asshole moment of the day. Yeah. I'm not a